Hello, good people. Welcome to today's math class. First, we are experiencing what is called hammer time in uh, Africa, and the weather here is harsh. The air is so dry. Okay, but despite that, we have a math problem on the board. The question is three to the power of x plus four minus four to the power of x plus three equal to zero. What is the value of x that is satisfied this challenge? This math challenge. Okay, so let's go into this solving. So we take our solution first thing first, according to Steve R. Carver. But before we go into this challenge, if you've not subscribed, this is all on Mass TV. Do us that favor by hitting the subscribe button. And when you subscribe, turn on the notification button so that whenever we release an amazing video, a wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right now, you get notified. So let's go into this challenge. Now, the first thing we're going to do here is this. Here, this base number is different from this base number, and the powers are different. So what we do is to move this quantity that is carrying a minus sign to the right-hand side of the equation to give us positive. So this is going to give us here our 3 to the power of x plus 4. This is equal to our 4 to the power of x plus our 3. Easy. No confusion there, right? Good. Now, the next thing we do here now is this. Look at this expression we have here now. According to the law of indices, it says that if you have your, uh, let's take our e to the power of m plus n, this is equal to your e to the power of m times your e to the power of n. So long the basis are the same, and we have a multiplication sign, then we should take one of the base, raise it to, the summation of the two powers or exponents. Okay, so if we succumb or we consider this rule, we want to rewrite this and also rewrite this. Then this is going to give us our 3 to the power of x times our 3 to the power of 4. This is equal to, we fully rewrite this to give us 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of 3. Easy. I will learn something here. Good. So from here, I want to carry the terms that are having x to, uh, sorry, 3 to the power of x to one side. Okay? And the ones that are not carrying anything x to the other side. And so from here, I want to divide this by 4 to the power of x. And we fully divide this by 4 to the power of x easy again because we are dividing by 4 to the power of x we will equally divide through again by our 3 3 to the power of 4 so that the quantity of constant will be on the right hand side so from here this is going to give us times our 3 to the power of 4 it will now be times our 3 to the power of 4 easy so let's try cut the it means this, we go with this, then this, we go with this. So we are now left with our 3 to the power of x all over 4 to the power of x. This is equal to our 4 to the power of 3 all over our 3 to the power of 4. Easy. <laughs> what we do next here now, look at this. We can rewrite this expression we have here. According to the law, again, it says that you have your, uh, let's say you have your a to the power of your m, then all over your um, b to the power of m. This is same thing as your a all over b all raised to the power of m. So according to this law, we can rewrite this expression. And look at 3 to the power of 4. 3 to the power of 4, according to um, this law, can be written as 3 raised to the power of 3 plus 1, which is equivalent to 3 raised to the power of 3 times 3 raised to the power of 1. Are we confused? No. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. So this is going to give us 3 all over 4, all raised to the power of x. This is equal to our 4 to the power of 3, all over 3 to the power of 3 times our 3 to the power of 1. Why are we doing this? Because we are having 4 to the power of 3. 
Okay, so we cannot apply the law we just applied to this part here. So let's continue on this side and see what this gives us in turn. All right, so from here we now have our three all over four all raised to the power of x. This is equal to here we're going to have this to be four all over three all raised to the power of three times one all over three. <laughs> I will learn this one to you. Good. This is just simple manipulation. All right. Now let's look at this again. With what we have here now, it is very easy to work with now. Now look at the terms we are having inside the bracket. We are having three all over four, and here we are having four all over three. And so I'm going to make this quantity to be three all over four. What will now happen to the power? The power will change. Remember? Yes. So this is going to give us three all over four, all raised to the power of x equal to our three all over four, all raised to the power of minus three. Minus will come into the system. Okay? Then times our one all over three. Easy. Now at this point, we want to um, eliminate this from the system. And what we do, we want to take log. Okay? But to log to what base are we going to take here? Is it to base 10? No. Because we are having 3 all over 4 here and 3 all over 4 here. We want to take log to base 3 all over 4. So this is going to give us here log of 3 all over 4 all raised to the power of x. This 3 all over 4. Let's mark it here. This is equal to our log to our base here, 3 all over 4 here. Then we have our 3 all over 4, they all raised to minus 3 times 1 all over our 3. So we can only put this in a square bracket. I will learn something here. Yeah. Now we can apply the product log here to this. According to the law, we say that you have your log, your m, and this is equal to your log, your m, plus log, your n. So according to this law, yeah, then we can now rewrite this side of this equation. So what does that imply? So let's take the left-hand side of the equation. So we're going to have here log our 3 all over 4, all raised to the power of minus 3, this 3 all over 4, bracket here, there plus our log this, which is 1 all over 3, there this 3, rather this 3 all over 4, like this. Okay, we are heading somewhere. Now, let's look again. Let me write this very well. According to the law of logarithm again, we say that if you have your log, um, let's take uh, log, if you have log p to the power of k, it says move this to this side of the, and this is going to give us k times your log, your p. Remember this law? Okay, then another law again we are going to apply in solving this, is the same case law we say that if you have log your a this a this is equal to our one provided your a is not equal to zero so look at these two laws here we are going to apply these laws to this expression mind you we have our left hand side here so let's continue on this side again and see what this gives us so look at this side of our equation so we are going to move this expression here now, which is the exponent down to this side. And again, we are going to move this exponent down to this side also. Right? Good. Then this is going to give us here our x. So we're going to have here x times our log. What we have here, we have 3 all over 4. Let's put it in bracket. This 3 all over 4. In bracket this is equal to which one are we moving we are moving this to this other side so we have here minus three times our 
this is multiplication with our log our three all over four, right? In bracket, this three all over four in bracket, then plus let's continue here because of space. So plus our log, log um one all over three in bracket this three all over four in bracket. Easy. Now, according to this law here, what happens to this? This will give us one. So we are now left with our x will now be equal to here. Again, this will also leave. So we now have here minus three there plus we have this expression here now. Look at this. Now we are having one all over three, base three all over four. We can apply the change of the base rule. Okay, so apply the change of the base rule. This is going to give us our log one all over three. We are changing to base 10. So base 10, then all over our log three all over four, base 10. Okay, you know what the change of base law of logarithm says, right? So applying the division law to this, what would this give us? So this is going to give us our x is equal to minus our 3, then plus, we're going to have log 1 base 10 minus our log 3 base 10 all over. This other side will give us log our 3 base 10 minus log our 4 base 10. Easy. Okay, don't worry, we'll get to the final answer, right? So from here, we have our x will now be equal to, again, we want to simplify this down. So if we simplify this down, this could be written as 2 to the power of 2. And apply the power law, we move the 2 to this other side. So we're writing everything here, we're going to have here minus here, our 3, what is happening to this chart, plus log our 1. Base 10 and minus log 3 base 10 all over here we're going to have log 3 base 10 then minus 2 log our 2 base 10. Are we still see that? Yeah, let's manage the space here. All right, so let's continue on this side of the board. Okay, look at here from here, we are going to apply the uh, law which says that log 1 base 10 is equal to 0. So if we apply that here, so you're going to give us our minus here. So this is going to give us our x will now be equal to minus our 3 minus, then we have log um, 3 base 10 all over our log 3 base 10 minus 2 log 2 base 10. I'll just try to conserve the space here. All right. Now we have reduced all these log to the lowest um, form of them. So we know the value of log three, and we know the value of log two. So if you impute that into the system and you divide, then we're going to have this. I've done that already. I'm going to come up with our minus three minus everything here is going to give you minus minus um, 3.8168 close bracket so if we use this to open this we're going to have this to be minus 3 plus 3.8168 and if you carry out this subtraction it's going to give us our 0 0.8168 so therefore our x from here equal to our 0 0.8 which is point please 168 approximately approximately so this is the approximate value of x that will satisfy this original equation now you can go ahead to impute this value here and here and check if it will give you zero i did it and the answer gave zero okay so this brings us to the end of this math class yeah, you must have learned one or two things from this approach applied here. 
And if there is any error in the process, then drop it in comment section so that you can equally learn from a mistake and also learn from you, the best brain all around the world. Remember, this is All I Mass TV and we love you. Keep watching All I Mass TV. We promise to give you nothing but the best. So we'll meet you in our next class. Keep winning. Bye for now.